Hi everyone, it's Tammy, and I have an unboxing of some things that I got from Walmart today that are from the Pioneer Woman, and I just thought they were great, and I thought that I would show you guys because if I like them, maybe you guys would like them too, and you know, we need to share when we find something really good. And this is a casserole dish. That's what they call it. In my, in my head, it's more like a stock pot or something like that, but that's what they call it. And I ordered this online and I ordered it yesterday. Got it today, very fast. And um, it is ceramic, woo, or steel. I don't know what you call that, but it has a ceramic coating. Has a nice lid on it. And I'm just checking it out here. Oh good. I thought that was a spot in the ceramic coating, but it's not. There is a little spot right here where the ceramic coating was chipped, it looks like. But that's the only spot, and I think that I'd be okay with that. The lid fits nicely, and it's just a beautiful pot. Isn't this pretty? I thought this was really pretty. And if you guys don't know who the Pioneer Woman is, her name is Reed Drummond, and she's on the Food Network. At least she used to be. I hope she still is. I used to watch the Food Network a lot. I don't watch it so much anymore. But um, she's really cute. She has a cute story. She came from the city and married a country like rancher, and she calls him the Marlboro Man. Man and they have several kids, I think four, and she has a life in the country now, and she was a city girl. And she started off by taking pictures, from what I understand. I don't know her whole history, but um, I do have a couple of her cookbooks. She started out by taking pictures, and um, then she started making food to take pictures of, and she's already she'd always done both, but I think she wanted to go into photography. And then she started vlogging, no, blogging. She would do a written blog. And, um, yeah, and she just kind of took off. And now she has her own cooking show. And she has her own, obviously, cookware. And um, I know she has lots of other things. There's a couple of recipes in or at least one recipe in here. So it's enamel. That's the word I was looking. Enamel, not ceramic. Enamel on steel. For best results, for, be for best use, lightly rub cooking oil on the nonstick surface, hand wash with warm soapy water. So yeah, I will probably be using hand washing these, but I just thought it was so pretty. I thought it would even be pretty if I left it on my stove, but I'm not sure yet. So there's a recipe for hamburger soup in here. And yeah. And I am expecting a couple more things from her, and I actually have a couple here, but I think there's one more thing that I'm expecting. So I will show you that later, but this is Welcome to My Frontier, and hi friends, I can't begin to tell you how thrilled I am with my new collection of cookware, kitchenware, and dinnerware. Seeing all the details come to life has really been exciting for me. This line captures so much of what I want the Pioneer Woman to represent, strength and quality, whimsy and beauty, home and family, with plenty of fun thrown in. Know that I have put my heart into each and every piece. I hope you fall in love with the collection as I have. Whatever you make, serve, create, or do with your new piece, I hope it brings out the joy of the occasion for you and your loved ones. From our frontier home to yours. Very sweet. And there's that's a picture of her and two of her kids. And that's a picture of her. She is gorgeous inside and out, it seems. I mean, I don't know her. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about this. So excited that when... I thought of leaving this on my stovetop. I thought, ooh, that would be beautiful. And then I just happened to click to see what was else in the collection, and I found this gorgeous teapot. Now, I kind of have a thing for tea kettles. I used to have a really big thing for tea kettles. I've gotten way better, but look at how cute this is. So it has a black inside, and I believe it's the same kind of deal, probably steel on, enamel on steel. doesn't say it does say the handle may get hot so you need to be careful with that um, remove all the labels stickers 
hand wash only. Okay, so there's no recipe in this one, which is fine. I was kind of hoping that there'd be some fabulous tea recipe or something, but I love my tea, as you guys know. And even my iced tea, I heat up first with, if I, especially if it's going to be sweet tea, I heat it up first so that that's the way, I don't know, I, I dissolve the sugar in that and then I pour this and let my tea steep and then I will um, pour it over ice or pour it in a cold jug. But I just thought this was so pretty. I just love it and I love how it has the steel little pour spout and the steel details here and the steel handle. I just thought it was really, really pretty and nice. And I think that this will look lovely on my stove. I like color a little bit in my kitchen because I don't want everything to be stark white or um, because that's just not me. I think it's beautiful. And if that's you, that's fabulous. I would love to be that person, but I'm just not. I have kind of an eclectic assortment of things that have been handed down or given to me or whatnot from wherever and sometimes you know like I'll purchase a piece and I'll at that moment when I'm purchasing it I like the royal blue or I have a uh, cast iron uh, pan that is pan I don't know what to call it that is uh, like a really beautiful blue color I can't even think of the color of that it is but it's beautiful blue it's probably close to this <laughs> color blue and you know it sits on my stove most of the time and I think this would be in a lovely addition to it I do have a stainless steel kettle that's on my stove now but I don't really like it and it gets so water marked on the inside I'm thinking that this lining will help that it doesn't have any sort of enamel lining or anything and yeah, so I am thinking that I will like this one a little bit better. And this one is a little bigger than the one that I have. So I'm thrilled with this. So then as I was looking, I found a couple more things. This is not a big deal. These are little drying mats. I don't know if you've seen these or know what these are, but um, I love these things. They are, like I don't hand wash lots of my dishes. I have a dishwasher and that's what I use the majority of the time. But when I do hand wash dishes, I like to have something nice to put them on. And this does the trick. And it's double sided so I can get this side dirty. <laughs> then I can turn it over and get this side dirty. And there's two of them. So it came with this ooh, bright yellow and red. And then it came with this pattern as well. So it doesn't perfectly match, but it matches enough. And honestly, I don't care if they match or not. My other ones don't match right now anyway. And I have two right now that I'm going to retire into the trash can and I will have these until they, until I purchase new ones. So that's kind of what that is. I kind of use them as disposables, but I keep them for, you know, a couple of years. Then I found this on clearance. I think this is it. Let me move this. Oh no, this is it. But they were both on clearance. This is a table runner and it's a bandana table runner. And I thought that was kind of cool. And I have a wood, and it's like a country wood table that I love. And my husband kills me because he often will stick stuff on it that just drives me bananas because I am one of those people whose pet peeve is to have anything on my table or on my island. I like it to be clear except for like a lazy Susan or something like that. And this is really cute. I like it. It is reversible, but it's the same on both sides. So it's not going to, you know, it doesn't matter which side you put it on, but it is really cute. And then it came with an option of placemats. Now these are big square placemats, bigger than what I'm used to actually. I'm used to the more traditional rectangular placemats. So these are pretty big. I actually have a table of for six, but there's usually only three of us at a time. Sometimes, uh, yeah, we don't even eat at the table all the time, but when we do, Alex is the only one that lives here full time. Katie is here sometimes, but she's at school. So this one came with four. I thought, well, I either buy four or I buy eight and eight seemed like a waste. So I didn't want to spend the extra money on something that I probably wouldn't use very often. I'm trying to downsize, not create more 
so I'm not really trying to downsize. I'm not. I'm just trying not to create more, I guess. And I use. I would have purchased eight last year. I would have purchased eight, and all the years before, I would have just been like, well, there's six, so I better get eight. But I don't want eight, <laughs> so I didn't get eight. And so this is reversible with the same colors as the table runner, and I think that they'll look really nice together. So yeah, I'm kind of excited about this. I think this will be really pretty. I'm gonna take all of these off. Oh, that's very easy. And um, yeah, so that is my new little purchase from Walmart. I don't actually like to go to Walmart, but shopping online was a fantastic experience, to be honest. It, came the next day. I, I literally ordered this yesterday and it was at my house today. And you know, you can't beat that. So yeah, I'm going to see how this looks on our table. And, and I kind of like the red and the, I don't know what the color this is. Um, might be like an aqua color or I don't know. I'm not even going to say, but I like the two colors. So I like that the table runner is, but I could just use these or I could just use the table runner or I think I could get by with using them all together. I think that'll look nice. So there, that's what I got. Thanks so much for watching guys. Have a wonderful day. I will talk with you soon. Bye-bye.